and welcome to Frogty Frog Crochet on this stitch guide on how to crochet the Mayberry stitch. So this is a lovely textured stitch which makes almost like little bobbles on the front. So it's really textured and just a really pretty stitch to make. So for this stitch you're going to need a foundation chain of two plus one plus one for your turning chain. I'm going to mark that last stitch. So in the third chain from your hook, you're going to make a single crochet. And I mark that last chain because the turning chain counts as our first single crochet. Now you're going to single crochet in every stitch across. So by the time you get to the end, you should have 25 stitches, including that turning chain. So I'm just going to show you how to do a sample of the stitch here. Let's get to the end. And single crochet in the last stitch. So now I'm going to turn. And now I'm going to chain two. Now this chain two doesn't count as a stitch, but I'm doing this type of chain here because it helps balance out the piece, which you will see once we get going why that is. Right, so your first stitch is the next one. So into that first stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet. And this counts as your first stitch of the row. So we're going to skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that you're going to make two half double crochet. Okay, skip the next stitch and again we're going to make two half double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, we're going to continue that across the row. So after your two half double crochet you skip a stitch and then make another two half double crochet in the same stitch. So I've got two stitches left. I'm going to skip the next stitch and make two half double crochet in my last stitch. Okay. So two half double crochet in the same stitch, skip a stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch and you do that all the way across including in your final stitch. So there's two half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. So that's your row two. We're going to turn and we're going to start row three. So we start by making a chain one. Doesn't count as a stitch. In the next stitch you're going to make a single crochet. This is your first stitch of row three. And then we're going to make a single crochet in the next stitch as well. So in the next stitch we're going to make a single crochet bobble. Now to make my bobble stand out a little bit more I yarn over first which admittedly isn't normally done but if I'm going to make a bobble I like them to pop. So yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over into the stitch again, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now don't pull up your loops high because it's going to make your threads loose in the bubble. So you should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. And on the side we're working on, you're not going to see anything. Your bubble will pop out on the other side. Okay, so all the texture will end up on the back. In the next stitch, make a single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to make another single crochet bobble. Yarn over, hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring up a loop. So three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Five loops on your hook. Now yarn over, pull through all five loops then single crochet in the next stitch. So I just turn over there. There are your little bubbles. Okay. 
and this is the pattern for the rest of this row. Single crochet bubble, chain one, single crochet bubble. You're going to keep doing this until you have two stitches left. And in the last two stitches, you're going to make a single crochet. And then turn. So you should have these delicate little bubbles. Okay. So the rest of the pattern is a repeat of rows three and four. Okay. And row four is just row two, really. But I'll show you how it's done again. So this time on top of the bubbles. You're going to turn, chain two. Your chain two does not count as your first stitch. Into that first stitch you're going to make a half double crochet. Just mark that one. Skip the next stitch and in the next stitch, which is the top of your bubble, you're going to make two half double crochet. One and two, both into the same stitch. Skip the next stitch and into the top of the next bubble, you're going to make another two half double crochet. Okay, so into the top of every bubble, you've got two half double crochet, you skip the single crochet and then make two half double crochet in the same stitch, which is above that bubble. And you're going to do that all across the row, including in that last stitch. So I have two stitches left, I skip the next stitch, and into the last stitch I make two half double crochet. And that's the Mayberry stitch. I would love to see what you create with this pretty stitch. Please do come and show us over in our Facebook group, Froggy Frogs Ribbons and Stitch. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well for more crochet stitches, crochet patterns and crochet hints and tips as well. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.